What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best Samsung phones in 2021. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. We'll kick things off with the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE, the best budget Samsung phone available on the market in 2021. What stands out about this fella is the high quality screen, typically associated with more expensive models. It packs a refresh rate of 120Hz, a sharp image, and a cool vibe. This model also also comes with a fingerprint reader built into the screen and uses an optical sensor rather than an ultrasonic sensor like the S20 and Note 20 Ultra. The device offers great performance under any circumstances at the level of the best phones available in the Samsung catalog and even surpassing the S20, Note 20, and other models with the Xenos 990 chip. LP, DDR5 RAM, and UFS 3.1 storage help make this fella fast, along with the use of sleek, consistent, and optimized software. The battery power of the S20 FE is also quite good. With 4500 mAh, the device can easily withstand a day and a half of use, reaching 6 or up to 7 hours of on-screen time. When charging, you have the option of fast charging at 25 volts, and this time, Samsung has not forgotten about wireless charging at 15 volts, something that is not too common at devices at this price range. The system that guides the rear camera of the S20 FE is not much different from that of the regular Galaxy 20. Again, we find our so with the same main sensor with a resolution of 12 megapixels along with an ultra wide angle of 8 megapixels. The main difference is in the inclusion of the telephoto sensor which is missing in the S20 and S20 Plus which offers us triple optical zoom and digital zoom up to 30. All sensors deliver a great result in most scenes and situations. One of the things we don't find with this phone compared to other S20 series models is the ability to record video in 8K resolution. Instead, we're limited to recording 4K video at 60fps, more than enough for most situations, and superior image quality compared to the standard S20. For the listed price, we are thoroughly impressed. Up next, check out the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip, aka the best flip Samsung phone that can be found on the market in 2021. When opened, this fella turns into a regular smartphone with a 6.7 inch screen that is quite elongated. When closed, it is so compact that you'll barely notice it's there even if you carry it in your pockets. The resolution of the dynamic AMOLED screen of 1080 by 2636 pixels does not disappoint when you watch videos, exceeding all expectations when tested with Netflix. And the central crease, although noticeable to the eye and touch, will likely not bother you at all. Moreover, when you put it in front of you, parallel to you, it is not even that noticeable. But you will not be able to watch series or movies on the top screen when the phone is half open or in fleck mode because Netflix and streaming platforms have not adapted to that regime. For small screens, the exterior of the 1.1 inch Galaxy Z Flip is very well used and large enough to fulfill its function of displaying not only the time, day, and percentage of the battery, but also notifications and all the important info. When you take selfies with the rear camera, the device sports two 12 megapixel lenses. The result is much better than with internal 10 megapixel selfies. The Galaxy Z Flip is sold with only one configuration, featuring the Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM, and two 56 gigabytes of storage space. With this equipment, the performance is satisfactory. What could be strengthened is the battery, which is a bit lacking at 3300 mAh. Of course, it is enough for a day of relatively intensive use. Also, this smartphone includes 9 volt wireless charging and 15 volt fast charging. Good stuff, a thumbs up from here. If you're looking for the best fold Samsung phone that can be found on the market in 2021, you are in the right place. And we say look no further than the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2. This fella keeps the key features from its predecessor and gives the vibe of a robust device. Although the shape is the same and the hinge on the outside has aesthetic lines similar to the previous Galaxy Fold, there are certain details that are sleeker. The design is softened and finished. The volume buttons and fingerprint reader, or the power button, are included on the right side. At the bottom is a Type-C USB port, which does not include an audio port. On the other side of the back, we have a 6.2 inch secondary panel, which is one of the main aesthetic and functional changes. Almost the entire surface is used. This Samsung smartphone has two screens. The main and internal is a 7.6 inch dynamic AMOLED 2X Infinity Flex screen with KK SGA Plus resolution of 2208 
by 1766 pixels, while the outer secondary screen has 6.2 inches and a resolution of 2260 by 816 pixels, the Super AMOLED type. The main panel has a good resolution, but the pixel density is slightly lowered compared to what we usually see on KKSGA Plus screens. However, the experience is more than acceptable, and there is no bad visualization regardless of the content. We can also choose the screen refresh rate, albeit to a certain extent. In the Galaxy Z Fold 2 5G, we have the option to always leave it at 60Hz or to opt for an adaptive frequency going up to 120Hz. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 includes Snapdragon 865 Plus, one of Qualcomm's most powerful processors, along with 12GB of RAM and UFS 3.1 storage. These features translate into a top-notch performance on all fronts, going far enough that you can even run heavy games like Call of Duty without any kind of lag. The device also has 10 megapixel front cameras. During the day, the results are very high quality. At night, the lights are well controlled, resulting in a photo of acceptable quality. This is a quality product, good stuff. The title of the runner-up best Samsung phone on the market in 2021 deservedly went to the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. We are looking at one of the most advanced smartphones available on the market today. Compared to last year's Galaxy Note 10 Plus, Samsung has picked the user experience up with design improvements better cameras with 50x zoom capabilities, and a high refresh rate display. The Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G is also more tightly integrated with Microsoft's gaming and productivity applications. This is the first smartphone to feature the new Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on both the front and back. The company says it is twice as resistant to scratches as the previous generation. There is no doubt that Samsung is a pioneer in AMOLED displays, and the Note 20 Ultra 5G features a large 6.9-inch VKHD Plus dynamic screen. It has a resolution of 3088 by 1440 pixels and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. It is also HDR10 Plus certified, which makes watching content on Netflix and Amazon Prime Video a pleasant experience. The refresh rate ranges from 60 hertz to 120 hertz, depending on the screen resolution you choose. With 12 gigabytes of RAM and Equinox 990, the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra delivers the goods on all fronts. Multitasking is a breeze, allowing you to switch between applications such as Microsoft Teams, Twitter, and WhatsApp for most of the day. Finally, the smartphone is armed with a 4500 M MAH battery with support for fast charging of 25 volts via USB. Although there is no support for faster charging, the charging is still fast, going up to 40% in about 25 minutes and up to 75% in an hour. A full charge takes approximately 1 hour and 25 minutes. With the Galaxy S20 Ultra, Samsung has introduced a quad camera with a primary sensor of 108 megapixels. Samsung brings new improvements to the S Pen every year to make it even more functional. This year, Samsung has reduced the touch latency to just 9 milliseconds thanks to that higher screen refresh rate. And it's not just about the impressive numbers. You can spot the difference as you type on the Note 20 Ultra screen. The S Pen simply glides smoothly across the screen as the virtual ink links out of the pen. The new Air Actions and Samsung Notes features further enhance the experience. Thumbs up for sure. And finally, we present you the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra, the best Samsung phone available on the market in 2021. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra is one of the most desirable smartphones, not only because of its fast performance and looks, but also because of the improved camera system. A change that almost goes unnoticed is that the device's 6.8-inch screen no longer has curved edges like its predecessor or the Galaxy S10 Plus. The top side features the speaker and the secondary microphone. On the opposite side, you'll find slots for two nano SIMs, the main microphone, a USB Type-C port, and a speaker. Finally, the right side has the volume control and the power button, while the left side is empty. The Galaxy S21 Ultra has a sleek and sophisticated design, sporting a cool matte finish, rounded edges, and a highly polished back. The 6.8-inch dynamic AMOLED X2 screen offers a resolution of 1440 by 3200 pixels, a 20 to 9 aspect ratio with 515 PPI. On the other hand, the device has a refresh rate of 120Hz. Another novel that comes with the Galaxy S21 is that the device is now compatible with the S Pen. With this input device, we can do exactly the same thing as with the Galaxy Note, such as taking notes, writing on the screen, editing photos, and much more. Entering the very core of the Galaxy S21 Ultra, we find the Exynos 2100 processor, a chipset that integrates a 5G modem to support this connectivity and a 5 nanometer technology. Great stuff. This processor is accompanied by 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal memory. 
memory. In terms of battery, the Galaxy S21 Ultra can quietly withstand up to 36 hours of continuous operation. On heavy use, you'll get 2 hours of Call of Duty Mobile. If you take things easy and use the phone for the basic functions only, you can expect almost 48 hours of use. In the camera department, we are looking at two zoom lenses on the back, something we rarely see on Android phones. The main 108 megapixel camera has been updated, and Samsung has solved the autofocus problems that the camera had with the S20 Ultra. This is quite nice because it means you no longer have problems with sharp photos. This fella offers premium performance and amazing looks at the best possible price quality ratio. You wanted the best? You got it. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.